Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I'll show you how to create automatically zero invoices from payments made by Stripe subscriptions. So I'm having a subscription program inside of Stripe that is generating payments and invoices to my current customers and I wanted to have those payments replicated with zero invoices. So the first step to start this, you will need to add a webhook for a specific Stripe event. So let's add a new webhook. The group that you're after in this case will be invoice because we want to replicate invoice in, in zero. And the event that we'll be using here, because there are many multiple events here that you can select, in this case, we will specifically select invoice finalize. So we know that the invoice has been already created, paid and, and completed with the payment matching to that invoice. So only in this case, we will generate an invoice in zero. This is the way how you would add this new webhook. Then the next step will be to, before we start creating the invoice in zero, would be to see whether this customer already exists. In most cases, this customer will exist, so we'll be able to find that customer here. It's a very simple process. Select your organization select what field are you going to be using in our case because it's an online subscription we know that the email exists and we that's the main identifier that we'll be using to identify our client so we are basically looking for that customer using the email address if the customer is not found for example, this is a newly created subscription and we have not issued any invoices for that customer. In this case, we would create a new customer. So you can see that there is a filter that says that if there has been zero bundles, means there has been no result from the customer search. That means only in this case, if the number of bundles equals to zero, no data found, only in this case, we would create a new zero contact. To create new contact, we would use the customer name coming from Stripe and also email address. Um, and that's basically the bare minimum requirement. You can also add some other things if that's necessary, but at minimum, you need to have the email address and the name of the customer. So that would be okay. And if the new customer is not found, then this branch is executed only in this case. If the customer is found, then we will skip this branch and we will continue. You will notice here that this module is searching for the customer one more time, but this is only for the reason that in case the first time it yields zero matches, then here we create the customer and then this branch would be um, executed and the customer would already exist. What is important to know that the order of execution in, in Integromat follows the top branch. So the top branch is executed before uh, before the bottom branch. And you need to know that the, the bottom branch is not decided this way. It is decided when you press the auto align, then you will really see which branch is the bottom branch and so on. If you would like to change it around, what you need to do is you need to unlink it and then link it again. And basically the order in which the modules have been linked this would be the order of execution and which branch is top, which one is bottom. So then this would be search here again. And here we would find the customer because it was either already there or has been created. So the final step is to create a, a zero invoice. And here we are creating a, a sales invoice, not a, not a bill. And the contact ID we are already having from the module number seven. And the next step is to basically add line items. And the line items would be the information that is coming from zero. In our case, we have only one line item. If you would be having multiple line items, it is also possible to do array aggregator to have this uh, line item object. But in our case, you can see that this is just the first item from, from the line object in terms of the quantity. The unit amount is divided by 100 because Stripe is using cents for the price so instead of 29 dollars it is 2900 that's why we are dividing this by 100 account code 200 this is sales and description is also description that we get from zero you can also manually specify the date it could be the date that you have today um, 
you could also add a reference so you can refer it to the specific uh, subscription currency to be either the default currency or you can also select what team you you would like to use and the other point is that once you set the, the status you can also set the status as a draft submitted or authorized if you are uh, sure that everything is correct always and so on then you can set uh, authorized initially once you're making the scenario it's good to put it in draft to see whether this is working okay later you can automatically authorize it and and that's basically that's basically it at the end there is one final module which basically sends a reminder to ourselves saying that there has been invoice created so that we know that something is happening over there so that's the whole scenario. I hope it's fairly simple and straightforward. If you have any questions around it, then then do subscribe and do do let me know and what you guys thinking and what uh, what questions you might have around. All right, thank you. Good luck with your invoice creation. Cheers. Mm -hmm.